Hello and welcome to Check on Two Riffs and Gear. My name is Ian and today we're going to check out the Bogner XC 3534. Okay, so this is the Bogner XC 3534. It's the brand new 45 watt version of the legendary Bogner Ecstasy in a smaller chassis and uh, with a lot of features that I'm gonna go through now. Um, welcome to Check On To Riffs and Gear. My name is Ian. Uh, welcome to my channel. If you like what I do, if you're interested in guitars, in gear, uh, in guitar playing, in riffs, in recording equipment, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell uh, to get notified when I post new stuff. I'll be putting stuff out regularly. Um, so, the Bogner Ecstasy 3534. It's brand new uh, for this year. And um, it's a really cool unit. Number one, it's heavy. It's a really, really heavy, heavy unit. Um, in the manual, it says that it has 13.5 kilos, but I think due to its compact size, it just seems like it's a lot heavier. Um, outside of that, um, it's a three-channel amp, basically a two-channel amp with three gain stages. Uh, channel number one, channel number two and three. Uh, channel number two and three, they share the EQ and channel number one has a uh, individual EQ. Now if we look at the front panel here, I'm going to go a little bit closer over here. Um, this is the front panel of the Bogner Ecstasy 3534. So we have the input jack down here and then we have the boost switch which engages a boost for channel 2 and 3 and then we have the channel select switch up here. And then going through the individual channels, this is the on and off switch and we have uh, basically channel 1 with the volume of channel 1, the treble, the middle, the bass and a gain up. Then we have the volume for channel 3 and channel 2 with the corresponding gain knobs over here and the regular three band EQ. Now each channel has uh, different voicings and um, those voicings basically can be selected per channel. So for each channel, for channel number one, uh, two and three, this is for one, this is for two, this is for three, uh, or for three and for two, um, we have three voicings, the B1, the N and the B2 voicing. Um, so B1 basically means it enhances the upper string harmonics, N means it's fat, warm and blossoming, and B2 is titled as aggressive attack and sustain. So you can select this uh, basically um, EQ voicing um, for each channel individually, which gives you a lot of options of different characteristics of, for, for each channel and then for the overall amp. Um, and secondly, you have this thing over here, which is called the excursion. And the excursion also gives you three modes. And those modes are T, L, and D. So T is for tight, which means it has an open and a tighter kind of voice. Then you have um, the L, which is for loose. So T for tight, L for loose. And D for deep, which will give you a yeah, dark and a deeper overall voicing. And then in total, uh, on the front panel, the last knob is the pre presence knob um, right here, which also is a global presence. So basically what we have over here is control for the power amp section. So the voicing of the power amp plus the presence for the power amp. And then each channel has its each individual voicing, which is really, really cool. So. Uh, that was the front panel. Let's look at the back of this heavy baby right here. So this is the back panel right there. Um, going through the back panel over here, basically we have an effect loop, which can be auto assigned or auto on for channel two and three, or it can be off, meaning that it's on every time you switch into that channel. 
This is the send and return uh, jacks, and you then, with the loop engaged, you basically have a master volume knob here, which uh, allows you to control the volume of the overall amp. Then these are the uh, foot switch jacks. Um, I'll show you the foot, foot switch in a minute. And over here we have a line out which is non compensated. So this line out is perfect if you want to get a DI signal of your amp. It's non compensated. Non compensated means that there is no frequency compensation on the line out. It's really just a line out of the power amp signal. And then we have all of the uh, cabinet jacks as well as the main power switch. Um, so that's the back panel, that's the front right here. Like I said, um, this amp is supposed to have 13.5 kilos. I think it's a little bit heavier, but I did not put it on the scale. Um, if we look at the amp overall, um, it is a 45 watt amp with EL34, so plenty of uh, loudness that can come from this uh, tiny box. Um, the send and the return level are at minus 10 dB for pedals, so you can uh, actually put pedals in the loop, which is neat. And um, yeah, it's an overall very, very cool amp, I have to say. I, I already checked it out a bit. It's a really, really nice uh, amp. It sounds exactly like a Bogner Ecstasy is supposed to sound. So um, why did I buy this amp? Um, well, basically, I think it was about 10 years ago when I first heard of an ecstasy and then I first heard samples of an ecstasy. And yeah, 10 or 15 years ago that was. And I actually, since ever since then, I wanted to own an ecstasy. And um, now when they came out with this one, which is a smaller version with 45 watts, um, where I thought, okay, so 45 watts is basically basically going to allow me to um, actually use it at the sweet spot compared to the 100 watt version that the normal ecstasy is. Plus, it's just a newer, updated version. I just decided, well, I think now it's time. Now it's time to get the ecstasy. And I do have to say, I love it. It's a great sounding amp. It's very versatile. All of those voicings give you plenty 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 of options um, for your sound it responds great to the volume knob um, and what can i say i mean the blue channel is sick it's a real beast of a channel um, it's my favorite channel on the amp is the blue channel um, blue channel probably with the boost engaged or the gain very very high um, it's, it has such a great response, it has such a great voicing, I do really love it. Um, why channel 2? Why channel 2 and not channel 3? Um, because channel 3 just has ridiculous amounts of gain. Ridiculous amounts of gain. So um, it's great for people who want to play heavy, who are used to playing uh, with a lot of gain, or simply if you... Uh, are used to really, really singing lead tones. Um, this amp has massive amounts of gain in, in either channel, um, but still very dynamic, very open, and just a really, really cool unit. All of the sounds that you will be hearing today are uh, coming from the Universal Audio Aux. So um, I hooked up the Bogner XC3534 straight into the Aux and from there it goes straight into my DAW. Um, there is a vintage 30 cap loaded in the aux, a, a 57 mic and a Royer R121 blended together including with the condenser room mics and just a tiny bit of reverb um, coming from the aux as well. There is nothing in the loop of the amp so uh, the amp is dry and um, there is no EQing happening um, after the fact that uh, this has been recorded. I'm going to be playing through the XSC 3534. Um, this is just going to be a quick run through, a quick playthrough. Um, I'm going to play some random chords. Um, I'm going to go through the different voicings of the preamp and the uh, power amp. 
and uh, for more detailed uh, samples of uh, the individual voicings, just check the description. Uh, there's links in there to every single uh, possible voicing that the AMP offers of the Red and the Blue channel. Um, okay, so um, here we go. We're gonna start with the Blue Channel No Boost. <laughs> This is the blue channel with the boost. Let's move on to the red channel uh, without the boost. channel with the boost which is ridiculous amounts of gain so but still let's do it <laughs> Okay, let's go through the different uh, power and voicings. Um, we'll start on the tight voicing. I'm in the blue channel with boost on and I have the preamp uh, B1 mode activated. Uh, so this is the tight excursion mode on the power amp. <laughs> Let's move on to the loose mode on the power amp. And then finally the deep mode. So, this is it for the general overview of the Bogner Ecstasy 3534. Um, what follows next is individual clips, about one minute of me playing. I recorded at the eye signal that I re-amped then through all of the individual voicings uh, of the pre-amp and power amp section of the Bogner Ecstasy of the red and blue channel. Um, please check the description for links uh, to the individual uh, sounds in this video so you can click on them and AB them and hear the uh, differences for yourself. Um, if you liked this video, if you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell icon and let me know in the comments what you thought uh, sounded best. Thanks for watching, uh, my name is Ian, this is Check 1-2 Riffs and Gear. 
and I'm out. Cheers.